Welcome to Avenue. As you know, we're walking through the last week of Jesus' life together. And we've gone through several days, and today is Wednesday. Today is a quiet day. Today they go back into the temple, and they begin to teach, just like he's always t- taught. The people are crowded around him. The religious leaders have given up trying to trap him because they realize that he is no way they're going to be able to get him away from the crowd. And if they did, the crowd would rebel against them and they would lose their power. And so for them, they decided to wait. In their waiting, they got something happen on Wednesday that they had dreamed couldn't happen and they hoped for. On Wednesday, a man named Judas who was a treasurer, one of the original followers of Jesus, one who'd followed him for three years and spent time with him and and seen all of his miracles. Now, there's a lot of debate about his motive. Was his motive to force Jesus' hand and cause him to stand up and say, yes, he was the Messiah? Or was he just a greedy, sin-filled man? Whatever the reason, Judas on that day decided he was going to betray Jesus. So as the crowd is gathered and Jesus is teaching, Judas slinks off and finds the religious leaders and speaks to them privately. As he's speaking to them privately, he says, I'm one of Jesus' followers. I know him. I know where he's going to be and I know what he's going to do. I can isolate him for you. I can get him away from the crowds. I can make it possible for you to arrest him. Of course, they were overjoyed. And then his price. 30 pieces of silver. The exact price in the Old Testament that said he would be betrayed for, another one of his many prophecies that were fulfilled. Jesus fulfilled so many prophecies in the three years that it's actually mathematically impossible for any other man to fulfill these prophecies the way he had, just proving again he's the Messiah. The religious leaders had what they wanted. They had a spy. So from that moment, Judas began to look for the moment, the time, that he could betray the Son of Man. Wednesday went on. The disciples were excited. Jesus was preparing. See, Jesus knew all along. He knew what was happening. He knew where Judas was. But Jesus was faithful. He knew the price that ultimately had to be paid for you and I to be in the family of God, and he was prepared to pay that price. I think about that day how distracted he must have been. Here he is teaching and talking and the crowds are gathering around him and people are showing him admiration and love. But he knows that one of his own, one that he has spent time with, one that he has cared for, one that he has loved, has gone to betray him. You know, Jesus' heart was heavy as Jesus prepares to do what only he can do. So Wednesday, they go back and then they start preparing for the next day in which they're going to celebrate the Passover. Join me tomorrow, and we'll talk about the Passover. Oh